Let's take a look at the toughest of them all, Jack Lambert. Steelers linebacker Jack Lambert was an icon of the Steel City who won the number eight spot on our list and a bust in the Hall of Fame. And the amazing thing about Jack Lambert is he wasn't very big. One of the Steelers' uh, administrative people looked at him, said, who's that? They said, that's our number two pick. And he goes, well, another wasted pick. The only thing wasted was Lambert's opponents. How could he do that? He's, he's a skinny rail. I think he did two sets of bench presses. I think he did two sets of curls, lit a cigarette, and walked. Jack was one of those guys that was in on a lot of tackles. If that hole was there, he was in the hole, he made the tackle. None better than Jack Lambert to do that. And Jack Lambert was a wonderful football player. There's a big difference between athletes and football players. Lambert had an instinct for the game that was uh, unique. It came from the floor up. I mean, he, he tried to run through you. No one wanted to be hit by Jack Lambert, but everybody was hit by Jack Lambert. He just had a relentless competitiveness. You could see it in his eyes. He was an uh, enforcer. Jack Lambert is so mean, he doesn't even like himself. I don't care that, that my opponents like me. I care that they respect me, though. With those steely eyes, with the Dracula fangs. He looks like Count Dracula in cleats. And nobody's approach to football is more basic. He had the look. You know, everybody knows the Lambert look. Limited teeth. And I turned around and I looked at the guy. And when I realized that he took his thing out, he didn't have any teeth up front. I went, wow. <laughs> so, I got really mean. <laughs> he was a guy that was always trying to jaw with other people, but uh, he backed it up. Lambert had some choice words for Ram running back Wendell Tyler a full transcript of which is available for mature audiences only. He was just going to do everything he could to make you feel pain until he heard the whistle. But our number eight tackler's most notorious play occurred after the whistle blew. On to sunny Super Bowl X against the Dallas Cowboys. Craziest game I ever watched. At that point in the game, the Cowboys had kind of had the better of it early in the game. Roy Jarella attempts a field goal and misses it. Cliff Harris, who's rushing, sees the kick go wide, and he pats Jarella on the helmet as if to say, hey, thanks. And he goes back and he grabs Cliff Harris and throws Cliff Harris on the ground. Jack Lambert was after Cliff Harris. Jack Lambert kind of put him in his place. Well, now Lambert's walking by. Here's Harris telling him something and grabs the kicker. And Lambert at 6'5", works him over. Nobody came to Cliff Harris's defense on the Dallas side. Did it change the energy on the field? Absolutely it did. They became the intimidators again. The Steelers won the game, and Lambert won a spot on our list of four tackles. differed dramatically from the fiery Kent State product who would come to symbolize the Steel City. Jack Lambert was the single most intimidating force in football. And a cool your ass off. And maybe the single most intimidating force in the history of football. He epitomized the intensity the fans felt. In a first! Oh, you a You know, with the no front teeth and just his uh, Clint Eastwood ways. What you've seen of Jack Lambert. Holy mackerel! What you've heard about his reputation is all true. But the ferocity that made Lambert both feared and fabled wasn't a complete picture. His image as being this rock of sock kind of guy had little to do with why he was so successful. The guy was just a very smart, very technically proficient player who could anticipate what was going to happen.